Good afternoon. Let's talk about children today. Um, in the end of uh, live the rest of my life pining, I have mentioned that, you know, there was a meme out there. That meme, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's like the parent, my child is so smart. And then the person they're speaking to says, how old are you? And the child says, truck, vroom, vroom, right? Um, we have expectations of children that children don't know nothing about, all right? Um, I'll give you an example. Last year, I took Aaron to the doctor because I was certain that he had a de developmental delay or some shit because <laughs> we would do colors and um, like I could tell him, okay, pick all the blue, pick all the red, pick all the yellow, and he would do that fine, right? But if you asked him, hey, what color is that? He wouldn't tell me. And so I was concerned that he had some type of delay. After explaining this to the doctor, you know, I was actually crying because it, it had more to do with, when I got him back, he had several injuries. One was a head injury. So I was thinking that maybe that had caused it. And, you know, I was riddled with guilt because of this. Um, we get home. And he's, you know, he has colorful bowls. He has color. Mom, what color is that? I said, I don't know, Aaron. What color is it? Oh, it's blue. He was not aware that he was being tested. But when he was listening to me and seeing my frustration, that's when he realized and connected the dots that, oh, my mom is expecting something of me. Let me show her that I actually do know, right? So kids don't realize that they're on display. But first of all, children aren't show horses. They're not trophies. So we have this expectation of children when they don't do what they're supposed to do, we label it as neglect, we label it as um, dumb, we label the parent as thinking grandiose of their child when in fact, children just don't know they're on display. All right, um, I actually have this happen again. They were assessing me and Aaron and she asked, Aaron, what's your, what's your full name? He said his name was Aaron Sonic. Bro, mm -hmm. what's your name? Aaron Sonic. Ah, see, <laughs> he doesn't know. They don't know that they're being tested. And so then that goes, oh, mm. but he knows his name. He knows his name. Trust me, he knows his name. Sonic Aaron. That's not your name. Sonic Aaron. Can you tell me your full name, please? Yeah. The real name, not just your play name. What is your real name? Uh, Aaron. Aaron what? Aaron. Aaron mm -hmm. Moses. Mm -hmm. Jelly. Okay, good job. They don't know. And so this is where Moses um, we have the expectation of our child to make us look good. It's not it's not a necessary um, expectation that we put on each other. Children are not trophies. They're not accessories. And they really have no requirements to recite or do anything for any. You're a complete stranger, bro. You are walking up to strangers and asking them to tell you how old they are. There was a time where Aaron would, well, how old are you? <laughs> like the fuck, what you ask me that for? He knows. It's just for him to know though. He's not here to make me look good or himself look good. He knows. That's that. But I just wanted to talk about that. Um, Cause I seen that meme come up and I, and I brought that meme up in um in one of my videos recently so let's let's take this expectation of children to perform they have no idea they're on stage and then you go and you and you um you slander the parent and the child <laughs> <Crawl with> you <laughs>
to complete my message about children, I just want you to take a look real quick. His bed's right beside me. I had to end up bringing in his mattress because I couldn't get him to stop coming in my bed. It was causing too much trouble to wake up. He was peeing in my bed. I'd have to wake up, get him clean up, put him in his room. I had to clean my own sheets all the damn time. I'm an adult. I don't pee in the bed. So the best suggestion... So, um, did you remember that I got this new cat boy? Yeah, I remember. Thing. I'm making a video, honey. Go on. Either go in your room. So I just brought his bed in here, right? You see, I just kicked him out the room. But when you, when I started this video, he was just twirling around. He literally will sit right here and play with his toys. Play on the phone. Whatever. In my face. I don't, I stay in my bed. I don't like sitting on the couch. So when I'm doing anything, I know it looks real lazy, but it's no different than uh, the most I'll do is sit in the kitchen on that at that kitchen table. Uh, I really hate the furniture in here. It's uncomfortable. So I just stay in the bed. That's me sitting on the couch. Okay. So he'll be in here with me. He'll be sitting right next to me on the bed. He'll um, be with me all the time. I want to bring this up because I saw a post where um, one of the readers um, had someone say something about um, hearing a child cry out for attention. They can't stand that. And we actually look at this completely the wrong way. If you notice, right around the 10 minute mark in any video, you can hear Aaron protesting. It's taking you a really long time to do a video. That's because he is a, he's right next to me 24-7. Restricting him from his secured spot of right up under me for 10 minutes is annoying to him. <laughs> and a lot of children are actually experiencing that because we're all experiencing enmeshment with our children. Especially after the pandemic after like being stuck with them for months at a time and some of us still haven't gone back to work. Some of us, our work is at home. That child grows accustomed to being up under you and it's not that they need any more attention. They're, they're always gonna be in competition with anything that you choose to do that's not them because they're so used to being the center of attention. That is different from a needy child. And you can tell the difference in a needy child. Uh, you hear Aaron? You hear that kid laughing? That is not a needy child. <laughs> needy children tend to not be um, happy. They don't laugh as much. Um, they don't. They don't express their emotions a lot. Huh. But we judge people. Another thing Aaron does is anytime my caseworker comes over here, he just be in her face like he ain't talked to nobody ever in his life. But the thing is, I am the only person that gives him attention on a regular basis. So as a child who actually needs a village, that is like the most exciting thing when my caseworker comes because like, oh, more people to soak up energy from. Not that he is thirsty for it. He is used to being the center of attention. And enmeshment is how you create a narcissistic, like a conceited narcissist. This right here. Being center of attention. Because then everybody um, ends up giving him the attention he wants. Because that, that, I try to tell her sometimes, just ignore him. Don't, don't even do that. He's so used to being the center of my attention. Part of it is to keep me giving him attention and for him to get more attention from someone else and it's not wrong for him to get attention from someone else but he people intentionally interrupt because i'm giving too much attention out but he'd be right he'd be right here all day he'd be right here all day right next to me talking to me Asking questions you seen in the um in the salad video. Well, I don't know if I posted the salad video yet. 
asking me the most draining of, uh, if i have to ask answer one more marvel question because this has been going on for a long time my oldest child was like this too he's 14 it never ends with the marvel the marvel stuff never ends with the sonic oh my god the older one he, he was really into sonic he really only just stopped that like maybe a year ago he'd ask me like do you know what their powers are do you know and i just like have to have these pointless conversations non-stop but we have to stop looking at a child who does certain things like that as a starved child you'll know and it's not just them at, you're taking a long time for your video like he literally cannot stand 10 minutes away from me that's not because he's starved for attention it's because he is used to having my undivided attention and a lot of other parents are experiencing that too. So let's not judge when we hear someone have their children come up in the video. Especially after the pandemic. It made us like, like this. Like white on rice, baby. And a lot of us are really tired. <laughs> and we, we, we actually exert a lot of energy to our children. Um, I know y'all surveillance and y'all think I'm not doing a whole lot, but... There's no way that I could have gained Aaron's trust and had his hand, had him hold my hand again if I wasn't doing something. Sometimes it's just the presence that they need, you know, but, but, but trust me, that's not, that's not all that Aaron gets. <laughs>